Hello, I'm your superhero critic, and I'll stay super as long as you stay awesome. And welcome to more Batman stuff. Originally scripted to be part of the DCEU, the Batman was originally going to be directed, produced, written, and starred Ben Affleck. But when he had disagreements with the project, he left it. Matt Reeves would eventually step in as director and wanted to focus on the more detective side of the character, creating a standalone universe. Robert Pattinson would step into the cape and cowl, and the film would focus on the Riddler, who is targeting Gotham's politicians, leaving clues around the city for Batman to figure out. So let's take a look at Robert Pattinson's The Batman. We begin through the eyes of a peeping Tom who is spying on Gotham's mayor as he watches over the results of polls and political news. But as he watches on, he is unsuspectfully beaten to death by the movie's villain, the Riddler. We then go to the obligatory superhero voiceover as the Batman talks about the fear he has brought to the city in the two years he's been active. The only tool here is you, cause you's a ho! But when that light hits the sky... And Joker's in your eye, that's so boring! Batman then stops a subway mugging as a gang with face paint on chases a guy down. Our hero quickly takes all of them down one by one, but one of the members looks like he is not fully okay with everything they were doing, and runs off. Gordon then invites Batman to the mayor's crime scene as they discuss what could have happened. He's given the first riddle of the film before the current commissioner comes in and is not happy that Gordon brought Batman in. Happy fucking Halloween. That's usually done when you have BDSM and goth chicks. Batman eyes his first Robin as the mayor's child looks on during a news announcement of the mayor's death. Bruce then heads home as we get the dark and broody character we've come to know, who just does not want to do anything but be the Batman, despite Alfred, this time played by Andy Serkis, telling him he could do more as a Wayne instead of using the cowl. God, Alfred, I just want to wallow in self-pity about my dead parents! Making me adult. The next morning, we see Alfred is more of a detective than Bruce is, as he's figured out the riddle with the answer being drive. This leads Gordon and Batman to the abandoned car where they find a thumb drive that has a thumbprint scanner on top of it. Once it's unlocked, we see many pictures of the mayor with the penguin at the Iceberg Lounge that get sent straight to the media outlets. Batman then requests to see the penguin. Get out of here. That little suit's gonna get all full of blood. Mine are yours. Apparently mine, you freak! In the club, Batman quickly takes down the goons in search of Penguin, played by Colin Farrell, before they go to his personal room and discuss who the woman in the mayor's pictures were. He meets Selina Kyle, played by Zoe Kravitz, as the Penguin continues to deny any knowledge of the woman in the picture, even after being threatened and slammed into the window. Batman follows Selina on a hunch as she calls the girl in the pictures, and he watches them as she freaks out about the news. See, I I've read a lot where people think they're just really good friends. Those are clearly lesbians and straight people are confusing. Selina gears up and heads to the home of the mayor with Batman right behind her. She breaks in with the intent to steal her partner's passport back, but is stopped by Batman, who after a small scuffle makes it very clear he just wants to help her and her friend. When they get back, however, Selina's partner is missing and the Riddler takes over the news station to show another politician being tortured, alluding to Riddler wanting to rid the city of corruption. I'm sorry, but the Joker did it better in the Dark Knight. Batman agrees to help Selina with her situation before we go to a body examination tracking the location of the newest dead politician. This leads them to the next riddle surrounding around rats with wings, which is obviously a reference to... 
lifeless beady eyes, clawed feet, huge grotesque wings. Wings! <laughs> Selena, with Batman's help, decides to go undercover in order to find more information on Penguin's men, seeing that there's a bunch of crooked cops and politicians that go to the lounge. Selena does not fully trust Batman, and they butt heads on what they need to do, as the DA wants to pick her up before he starts ranting about everything regarding the Riddler, learning that there is apparently a rat within the group. However, one of the girls at the table also seems to know information about Selena's friend before running into Falcone. It's been a long time since I've seen you down here. How you been? Shouldn't you be getting chased by racist Transformers? Selena decides their partnership is over, heading home on her own as the DA gets comfortable in his car, only to be attacked and trapped by the Riddler. Batman lets Gordon know about the dirty cops before Bruce goes back to investigating Selena's tape from the night before. Alfred then continues his help as the better detective is figured out the second riddle. Bruce then heads to the funeral while everyone protests what's been going on. Bruce comes face to face with Falcone himself. Some event, huh? Brought out the one guy in the city more reclusive than me. Thought you'd never leave the shoreline. Aren't you afraid someone will take a shot at you? Why? Because your father ain't around. Shots fired. The funeral goes as one should go as the running mayor wants Bruce's help with her campaign before the funeral is interrupted by a car slamming into the building, luckily avoiding everyone. The driver is Coulson as we learn that the Riddler has strapped a bomb around his neck. Riddler then decides it's time to play some games as he demands Coulson answer riddles about himself in order to tell Batman the truth about his secrets during yet another live stream. But Coulson refused to give up the rat, setting the bomb off. Oh. And that's some explosive. I don't know what that is, but I'll go get it. Huh. This is weird. The answer is sleep. <laughs> 